Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to insert an element at the middle of the link list. So in the last two videos, so we have seen how to insert in the beginning and at the end. So here uh, we are going to see how to insert in the middle of the link list. So we have to handle uh, multiple pointers here. So in the middle, uh, we have to insert the element means we have to handle a few pointers. So for this example, I'm going to insert uh, after a particular element. So that is considered as uh, insert at the middle. If the element is not found means we can able to just print uh, the element is not found. Or if the element is there means we can, we have to just uh, insert after that. Okay, let's see this uh, with an example. So I will say D is five. This is the element that needs to be inserted and X. So this is the element we have to find and after this element only we have to insert. So I will just say one. Now uh, let me create an four elements. So I will say N equals four. I'll just quickly uh, create four nodes now. Now I have uh, created four nodes. Let's insert uh, some elements. So I'm going to insert as uh, 9, 1, 2, 3 and 2. So these are the elements. So I will just connect these elements one after another. So this will be connected here and the last node will be connected here. And let us mark the head pointer. So this is our head pointer. So now uh, let us copy this uh, link list. So we will just go through the process with an example. So, so this is the last node of the link list. So I will just mark it as null. And here also it is marked it as null. Now, let us go into the problem first we have to find the element that is x inside the link list and after this element we have to insert the new node. So in the first case uh, if the element is not found let's say if the element is 10 and uh, we are traversing all the elements in the link list and the element is not found means so we don't have to insert the new node because the element is not found. So we will just uh, print uh, some statement and return the function but in the second case if the element is found that is here if the element is found we will be uh, doing all the necessary steps possible to insert the element so uh, as usual i'm going to assign a uh, temporary variable so this head pointer will be pointing uh, with temp so i will just uh, mark this as temp so this is the temporary uh, pointer i'm going to use for traversal so I'm going to traverse uh, using a while loop. So after traversing, when I found one, I will just break the loop. So temp will be pointing here. So now uh, I have reached the node. Uh, after this node, uh, we have to insert the new node. What I'm going to do is create a new node of uh, element five. So I'll just create the node here. So the node element is uh, five, I have created. So this is the new node. I'll just mark it as new alone. As I already said, if the data is not found means we just uh, print it out. And if the data is found and we have uh, reached this uh, temporary variable. And now at the step, we have to change this pointer. So that will be pointing to here and this will be pointing to here. That's how we have to change. So in the first step, I'm going to point this new node to the next node. So the syntax will be new dot next is temp dot next. So this node will be pointing here. And after that, we are going to point temp dot next. Currently temp dot next is pointing to three. Now I'm going to point this temp dot next to the new node. So this will be pointing to here. 
So we have uh, make the connection. So this link will automatically be breaked. So I will just erase this. So now uh, you can able to see I have uh, inserted uh, this element in the middle of the link list and uh, we have uh, done using the temporary variable after founding this x element we have inserted the new node 5 inside the link list. So as usual we are not changing the head pointer we will just return it at the end of the function. So the linking uh, you can able to easily see how the linking works. So for this example the time complexity will be order of n. So time complexity is order of n. So why this is order of n? Uh, because uh, you can able to say we are just traversing uh, only at the middle of the elements. We are not traversing all the elements. But when you say in the first case if the element is not found we have to check all the elements in the linked list 9, 1, 3 and 2 like this we have to check all the elements so the worst case probable is the worst case scenario is we go of n that is the element is not found so we have to traverse all the elements inside the linked list that is the time complexity now let us see this uh, with an algorithm so we can able to come around and uh, trace the problem so that will be really helpful. So now I will uh, name the parameters. What are the parameters we are going to pass? First one will be head. That is head pointer of link list. Head pointer of link list. Second one is the element to insert D. That is element to insert. Third one is X that is element after insertion occurs element after insertion occurs because after this element only we are going to insert now let us jump into the algorithm algorithm insert at middle head d and x these are the parameters we are going to pass as usual at uh, the first step we are going to initialize the new node so initialize new node equals node of d so i will come on the condition so traverse until uh, we find the element or reach the end of the linked list so traverse until find the element or reach the end so here i am going to state the while loop before that uh, we have to initialize temporary variable also so i will just initialize the temporary variable here so initialize temp equals head now in the while statement while temp dot next not equals null and temp dot data not equals x so this while loop will continue until it reaches the end of the linked list or it found the element so that's the condition we are specifying until that uh, it will traverse to the next pointers so temp equals temp dot next so it will just uh, keep on traversing from one element to the next so for this example we have uh, found this one so because of this condition this loop will break now in the final case we have to check whether uh, we have reached the end of the linked list or we have found the element so if temp.data not equal to x so that is if the element is not found we will print element not found so this is one case else that means if the element is found means we have to do the necessary operations so in here what we have done is a new node is pointing to temp dot next so that will be new node dot next equals temp dot next 
so this is new node dot next and this temp dot next is here so I'm just pointing that to next so while 5 will be pointing to 3 now and after that I have to point this 1 to this 5 so what we'll be doing is temp dot next equals the new node so temp dot next is pointing to the new node so this is the operation that I have performed here and finally we have to return the head pointer so that will be return head so this is the whole logic of this algorithm so I will just place it here so you can able to see it clearly how this works so let's recap the algorithm quickly first we are going to initialize the new node with the element that we have to insert that is D and after that we are initializing a temporary pointer so the head pointer will be pointing to temp and after that we have uh, going to this condition we will be traversing until we have reached the end or uh, we have found the element that is X so here temp is uh, pointing to head and after that we have found the element that is one here so this loop will break and after that we are checking for uh, temp dot data not equals to x if the element is not found we will just uh, print uh, the element is not found and after printing you have to return the statement uh, let me change it quickly so I have quickly uh, updated it so if the element is not found it will just uh, return the function or else for our case uh, we have found the element that is 1 now so new node dot next that is equal to temp dot next temp dot next is uh, here 3 initially it was looking like this after pointing 5 to 3 we have to point 1 to 5 that is temp dot next equals new node so we have done this here temp dot next equals new node so this will be pointing to here now we will remove this one so that's it guys we have inserted a new node at the middle of the link list if you have any queries uh, related to this video so uh, please leave a comment below i will uh, clarify it uh. apart from that if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful stay tuned for the next video